Bang! Knees and eyes. I'm Jared with my lovely wife Kara. Hello. Today we're going to talk about the Microtech and zero tolerance beef and controversy. And yeah, let's get to it. Beef drama. All right, guys. We're going to try to quickly talk about this controversy. Um, we read all about it. And there was a lot of controversy between Zero Tolerance and Microtech. We are going to be showing these two along with the new Zero, not new, but the other Zero Tolerance, Zero 770, and the Kershaw Natrix. But let's get started with this Zero Tolerance right now. I have words. Okay, let's talk words. Uh, I just want to mention for anybody who is new to the knife scene that we will be mentioning Kershaw as well, who is the budget line version of Zero Tolerance Knives, aka ZT. So just to be very clear what we're talking about, both of those companies fall under the umbrella Kai Limited, I believe. Yep. So um, ZT and Kershaw Zero are, Tolerance. are Kai Limited. Yep. So just keep that in mind as we're talking. Same company. Same company. And then, you know, Microtech is owned by uh, Tony Marfione. Tony. So, so Tony, Tony. Yeah, Tony. So let's talk about the controversy really quick. Let's do it. Okay. But right before that, we want to give a huge thank you to Acuminous Edge for sending these knives thank to you. us and allowing us to check them out. He's a really good friend of ours, and he's been very kind. Very, ugh, ugh, I can't even talk. Very kind to us okay. for sending us um, such beautiful knives and allowing us to get our hands on knives that we definitely would not have been able to otherwise. True. So, all right, first up. All right, so Zero Tolerance made the ZT0777. Are which we is, starting back yeah. from the Blade Show incident since that Yes, was that's where we're starting. That's where we're starting. So they made the prototype at that point. Okay, right. So why don't you start explaining to them and I'll start giving them some, uh, some show. Yeah, it was 2011 Blade Show. ZT, aka Zero Tolerance, came up with this design you're looking at right here, the 0777. And at that time, it was a prototype. So there's many sides to the story that um, Microtech then went on to copy this design. Now, we looked at some official statements from Anthony Marfione and Microtech. Uh, they claim that there's a bit more to the story and that at this Blade show, ZT basically went up and challenged Anthony Marfione and said, hey, you can't do this prototype better than we can. Hence the creation of the Microtech So Matrix. then they decided to make right here, bang, the Microtech Matrix, which if you notice has a lot of similarities obviously because he was trying to do their knife better which mm -hmm. he never denied that's what he was doing he was you know it was a challenge to him yeah, so he took on a challenge tony yeah he wasn't backing down so he did make it and if you notice what it has it's very similar is this lock bar now supposedly he had done this lock bar before so he didn't think nothing about it did the knife and if you really look these two have a lot and we're going to put you guys down and let you guys really check out we got a lot to talk about both well they were supposed to be similar right. because exactly. he claims that this challenge was to do their knife better there and it was a prototype at the time this was not the zt was not for sale this was a prototype that they they like supposedly challenged him on so he came up with this design now what happened was is he came up with this design so freaking fast and did it so well and all the knife makers were agreeing that he did it better and I think that kind of pissed off Kai Limited, and yep. they went ahead and um, let him I start think, selling the knife. Yep. They let him start make producing it, them. make a bunch of them, and then around the time of September, they filed a patent on this sub frame lock. And at the time, using a uh, secondary lock bar like this one or an external lock bar like this was something that Marfion claimed that they had been doing since the yeah, 90s. They had already Whether, been doing it. Whether um, the the difference was they typically covered them up with whatever scale, but it was still a, a detached a subframe sub lock. Yeah, basically. it was still detached. It was just covered. So he didn't expose one because he was trying to do it like theirs because that was the challenge. And um, so they basically sued them or whatever. Well, what happened is is that so Kai filed the a patent, patent yeah. out of nowhere because they realized no one had done it and did not tell them because you don't just get updated when there's a patent out of nowhere. Right. And so Microtech basically had got the, served about like eight months or something after the patent was had filed. Stop, they had to stop production. Yep, they served <laughs> him with a cease and desist order. And Tony Marfione is a stand up guy and said, okay, All cease right, and fine. desist. Done. So then. 
Microtech said, all right, and, um, or actually, I'm sorry. So remember, uh, Microtech was called the Matrix, okay? So then Zero Tolerance uh, kind of butthurt about it. And we're not talking crap about either one of these guys. This, this is, is the, just the story. This is the story, right? We didn't, we're not making up this stuff. So then Kershaw was kind of butthurt and said, well, we're going to make the Kershaw Natrix. And if you notice, the name is a lot similar to the Matrix, which, and if you look, these knives look so similar. All these knives. I mean, really look at these knives. I mean, they are all very similar. We are going to bring you down and really show you, but here, I'll just do these two and then we'll put, we'll put them all together. And also, for Zero Tolerance, because remember, this is Kai. This is Kai, same company, made. This does not have the subframe lock, but this is the new not new, but it's the Zero Tolerance 0770. This is part of the 700 series, basically. Yeah, so this is kind of because they stopped selling. Series, whatever you want to call they it. stopped selling the Zero Triple Seven as well. They Microtech and ZT both stopped selling that version of the knife. So this is like their new version, and then they have the budget line uh, Kershaw Bare Knuckle, which we can throw in a yep. picture of. We we have a Bare Knuckle, but as of right now, uh, Mr. Big Time MC has it, uh, Metal Complex. So. We don't have it right His now. His channel name is not Mr. Big Time MC. It is Metal Complex. But just to we be clear. do have, <laughs> but we do have a video on it. So if you want to see a video on the bare knuckle, which has the subframe lock, and is basically this knife's big brother. It's a USA made one, and we really love the bare knuckle. Bare knuckle is such an awesome buy, mm -hmm. and they just recently made one in M390, and um, yeah, so. If you want to check out a review on it, we do have a, re a review of it going against the Kershaw Knockout. So check that video out if you want to see more on that knife. So right. um, really quick, just want to mention that um, Kershaw slash ZT's official statement on the making of this knife, since there was such a poke to Microtech naming it the Natrix instead of the Matrix, their official statement on it was that they ha, said ha. that, mo <laughs> yeah, that most of the knife makers agreed that the Zero to or I'm sorry, the Microtech version was like the holy grail of knife designs and everyone loved it. And they basically said that this legally owned design should be produced by the rightful owner of that design, which is them. So this was like them saying, you know, we yeah. took ours off the market, they took theirs off the market. So here's like the new line of the rightful owner of this design. You, you know the way I kind of That's look what at they it. said. Well, I feel like Tony Marfione was being the bigger man about it, first of all. He if that challenge really happened, then, like, definitely. Yeah, does. definitely, definitely. And the way I look at it is that, um, you know, I, I feel like if that story's true and everything, you know, it was said was true, then he was just being the bigger guy about it and basically... You know, I think swam in his glory of I won. Yeah, you know what I mean, and, and said, I "I'll stop. I don't care because I won." So, you know? um, so you know what? Let's see. What do you? We're gonna hold see on. What? Wait, one thing. One thing. All this information that we just talked about, I'm going to link it into the description. There's official statements from Microtech, um, and a lot of it's from KnifeNews.com. So I'm gonna link that. If you want to read the full unedited statements that I was um, picking words from, I'm gonna put that down below. So definitely go check that out if you want to know more. Really quick. First, I just want to say that um, most of you probably noticed we do not have a Patreon yet for this channel. We are planning on starting one soon, but for now, a way if you'd like to support the channel would be to use our Amazon affiliate links that I link below in most of our videos. So anytime there's a knife in the video, if it's able to be linked, I will. It doesn't cost you guys anything extra to use the links. All it does is just give us a portion of the proceeds. And we're also going to start linking a lot more other stuff that's been in our videos. Yeah, just things or, we like. Or whatever. in the future will be in our videos. So there's going to be a lot of links down there. So if you you want to check out some really cool stuff from Amazon, go down our links and check some of that stuff out. All right, let's get into these bad boys. Let's do it. All right, also, another thing, just really quick, we hit our thousand. Woohoo! We will talk more about in the next video. That All was, right. Uh, that was a nice woohoo. That was a nice woohoo. Yeah, nice, was like, it? voice crack really? to it. It was like, woohoo! Was it good? All yeah, right. it was good. All right. Okay, so now these are basically eight and three quarters with a three and three quarters blade on both of them. You can see there, they're very, very similar. So He's I'm, a little tall. I'm gonna go through basically and quickly explain some of the knife, because there's a lot you could just see for yourself, but I'm gonna explain some of the stuff. You can't see which one's better, which one's worse. What if somebody is an audio only listener? Then they should be watching. <laughs> All right, so now, starting with the ZT, since they started first. Technically, no, I'm pretty Like sure I said, this is an M390 blade. 
three and three quarters long, carbon fiber subframe lock that's titanium with a steel insert, steel lock bar insert. Very beautiful carbon fiber. It's um, got T8s and T6s. That's <gasps> one downfall. It does have T6s. I don't think they do that anymore. Remember, these are this knife is a little old. Now yeah, the detent. Well, the damage has already been done. The detent. Oh yeah, and also a floating uh, backspacer, if you want to call it, titanium um, clip. That's it's it's an okay clip, and when it's in your pocket, it sits super deep. So all you see is this clip, and when you grab, you grab it just like you that. It from the side. Pull it out. You can see how deep it is. See, it sticks up. It is still very centered. Um, the one thing about this thing is um, not the one thing, it's a but something about it. it is a loosey goosey. Like this thing has a very, very light detent. If this was mine, I would totally <clears throat> take it apart. And I would strengthen the lock bar. I would, you know, like try to make the lock bar. I don't, you know, I, I'd work on and try to make it just a little bit tighter. Now the thing is though, is that this groove here is smooth, but it's you a still, smooth it's a smooth groove. It's smooth in the groove, but you can still <laughs> middle finger flick it. So you can. Yeah, but with that loose detent, it makes it a little that, difficult. That's, well, no, with loose detent, it makes it easy. If it Let had a tight see. one, you would slip right off of Let it. Let me see. I don't feel like I can do it. Yeah, you can. See, because it's a loose detent. Oh, -hoo, See, yeah. if it was a stronger detent, well, you would slip right past it. Sometimes that. having a strong detent helps. With this take, one. Hey. Sometimes having a strong detent helps bring out the momentum, like the Yojimbo. Don't, not, don't, not, not don't shake one. your head not at me. With this one. I didn't say with this one. I said sometimes. Okay. Well, we're talking so about this one. A strong detent helps. It's hard to fling out, but once you do, it goes pink and it goes all the way out. That's this, all I'm saying. The so thing saying, is that man. if it was a stronger detent, it wouldn't be possible to do this because, like I said, this is Maybe smooth. Maybe not in this knife. You might You break. can. It's a smooth groove. Oh, it would be hard. It's hard to thumb flick it, but you can if you put some pressure and give it a little rest. Now, with the, the lock bar, I don't know how you're seeing this, but you can get it out without Scoot no wrist. This way a little bit. Sorry, here, I'll just go upside yep, down. You're good. You can get it out with no wrist, but it feels a lot better just giving a little pop like that. But you can do it without no wrist. It has good jimping on the. On oh, so it comes out so easy. Yeah. See, you, no wrist. But you, it could easily be shaken out. Like you can just sneeze and this thing will, this thing will come out. Yeah, I can feel it. I don't want to do it, but <laughs> yeah. I can feel it. Now, um, <clears throat> excuse me. The jimping is very nice on it, though. It is jimping on the back of the on the spine. It's not crowned, so it is. Uh, Can I show it closely? I don't know how thick it is behind the edge. But I'm gonna guess it's around like 23, 24 thousandths or something. So it's not the thinnest, but it's a big knife, though. Yeah, this thing <clears> is huge. And the thing with this knife, to me, or one of the things, is that just like the Kershaw Natrix, since it's just bigger, the way it sits in the hand is unique. Like if you look. In, here you can get it to me to do it here, because, go ahead. so you can see like this it sits in the palm like this because this is wider right here just the way it sits it wants to sit forward like mm -hmm. it literally this it is does. where you squeeze almost you don't squeeze like that you squeeze like that and it kind of just mm -hmm. sits firm in your hand like that so it basically put your finger right where and that slight belly on the blade it puts you in a very good position yeah I, I do like the way that feels too mm -hmm. it feels pretty good now it is thin though and this thing is very light because it's all carbon fiber and then you know the titanium is a very small bits of it you know there's not much of it so it is very very light there is no cutouts in the car carbon fiber because it's carbon fiber it's already light enough so it's very it seems front heavy you see how it like you yeah. know kind of sits front heavy like it'll fall oh, it forward does. you know so it um but when it drops though because of that light lock bar watch this it just drops. Scoot down a little. I gotta go. Can I see this? Mm -hmm. Okay, so basically it just falls. Especially with the bearings on VSCS, bam, it yep. just drops. Like there's no, like it's just basically free f flying in there. Now, since it's so thin in the hand, this is kind of sharp. Not like sharp, like it's gonna cut you, but when you're squeezing like this, you can definitely feel it. You know, it's not thick, it's thin. And then these, these carbon fiber sla slots Aww. are thin. You pull so, hands. Well, yeah, the pull hands. When you're like this, it really gets into you right here, it pinches you in the fingers and stuff like that, if you're gonna bear down on it. Now, there is a lot of good things about this knife though. I mean, I 
love this blade shape for EDC. This is like the best to me. I mean, I just absolutely love this blade shape. You got a little bit of belly. You got a little, not really much flat, but it's kind of flat right there. But you got the belly, you got the tip, nice precision you know what, work. I think that they executed this same blade shape and everything. Um, and I know we're not comparing to the bare knuckle, but I personally think that the bare knuckle is a better rendition of the same thing. I know this is a premium version yeah, of said knife and everything sure. with the carbon fiber and whatnot, but the bare knuckle is a more practical size for most people. For sure. Can we throw up a size comparison for this one since we're talking about it? So well, we, can, we don't have the bare knuckle. No, just like show the Natrix or something, just so that we can okay. explain well, here's how the big Natrix this thing is. With it. Yeah, it is very big. We're Look how do, big that is. Let me do really quick, yeah, a couple size comparisons. You can see how big it is. This is the large Griptilian. Which is already a The Benchmade Griptilian. This, yeah, this is already an extra a full inch. size knife. So, like I said, the Satan three quarters, this is about eight inches right here. So, all right, here's another one. This is the Chris Reeves Sabenza 21. Large As you one. can see, yeah, the large Sabenza 21. So, you can see how much bigger this it is than is that. This thing is beefy, too, though. That's what you guys got to understand. While we're right here, I might as well just put up this one, but they're basically the Microtex exact same bigger, size. Though. It, it is it's a, got yeah, more it is bigger. It is bigger, as you can see. Let's get to the, the Microtech. Let's do it, because that's my fave. Okay, and just because I said all those things about this knife, I don't want to downplay how good this knife is. This knife is very good. You did say a lot of good things. Um, but also, this does have like a Chicago screw style, so Torx in the shell. What is the Chicago screw style? It's just where the screw screws into a thing. Like, you can't <laughs> screw both sides. You can only screw one side. And Sorry, guys. <laughs> all right, um, the clip does work really well it slips in and out has good tension i did not mean to do that um <laughs> the clip does work very well in and out of the pocket i'm getting to the damn matrix just get to it just all let's right. move on all right um all right sorry did i say kershaw matrix I don't the know microtech matrix as you can see it's all for proprietary yeah proprietary um Proprietary? Proprietary hardware. So basically you need... Oh, like this little shape is just theirs? Yeah, you need their tool. Is that patented? I don't, you know, I'm sure it's Microtech. Well, because so. proprietary means that nobody yeah. else can do it. Right, well, whatever. They got it, so you had to get it from them. Either send it in or they have to send you the tool. I don't know if it comes with a knife. I did not know about that. So here's a question for anybody in the comments that knows a lot about Microtech. What I want to know is you. it looks and appears as if you need a different tool to unscrew the pivot than you do the yeah, actual ob hardware. Yeah, obviously. So do yeah. they send two tools uh, with that? I, I don't know. Or you just got to figure it out. You got to... I think you gotta mail it into them. Yeah, send oh. it into them because this is definitely okay. two different things. Well, if anybody knows the exact uh, thing for that, it let us know. It does appear that all the small hardware is the same across the board. Yeah. Aside from the pivot. Even on the lock bar? Even, yeah, it is. Okay. Yep, even on the lock bar. Okay, this is same thing titanium, um, titanium subframe lock, titanium clip, titanium backspacer. Let's same compare the design. backspacers really quick. You can see. It's a lot to sing. You see that, baby? Yes. All right. Now, I'm going to go over the things I like better or worse about Hold the Microtech now. Go ahead. All right. So, all right. Now, this one is you still got the same feeling in hand, you know, where it's wide right here and it basically sits forward and puts you in that position. That extra height makes it a little different in the hand. It, it is thicker right mm -hmm. here it's and taller. you can feel it. You can't see it too much when you compare them, but it is, it does feel bigger. It actually feels, um, quite a bit. Bigger. Yeah. Yeah. Substantially bigger. Um, this is though B D or CTS BD 30 steel. What? I had never heard of that steel until this knife and I hear that the the makeup of it is basically a lot like S30V, but supposedly it has a little bit better edge retention. When you say better, you mean it's going to hold it longer? Yeah, it's supposed to. I wonder if it's harder to sharpen. I, you know, I heard, I hear basically the makeup's like S30V. Okay. Alright, <clears throat> it does have a small lanyard hole, which 
The ZT does not. You know what else with the butt of the knife, though? If you look, a, a, a quite large difference is the shaping of the yeah, butt. This one's relatively sure. flat. It's, it's square, And this too. one has, a, like, a That's weird rounded. Little, but look at the clips, though. Look stuff. at the clips real quick. They're yeah. both super deep carry. This goes as deep as you can get with a deep carry. So does this one. This one sticks out a little bit, so you well, can grab Well, this one is right essentially here. a non-deep carry clip placed high up. But it just, That's this the is the only thing popping out of your pocket is the top of that clip. Right, but it's not technically a deep carry clip they just put it really high up to where it sticks above the knife so that one's actually deep carry so this one does go in and out of the pocket very very smooth i really like this clip it does flip back and forth you can just More spin it to the other side the zt does not flip around or wait does it hold on sorry. well is that space no on? it doesn't yeah there's not you no. can't no so okay so this one you can essentially flip um Okay, it does have that thin same feeling though where, and since it's a little bit more bigger right here, it actually almost feels a little bit more thinner. So it's actually less comfortable in the hand. But the action on this thing, the detent is stronger. Not a ton stronger, but it is stronger. The whole like, thing feels tighter. It feels like the pivot in general is tighter. Yeah, it does. The it, drop is this a bit one, different. Watch the drop on this one if you can. That one I slap Stay shut, down. but like the other one, I see I'm shaking, I'm shaking. Yeah. It feels more uh, well done, I feel like. This one just feels loose. Yeah, because this drop on this one doesn't feel drop shutty. It feels, like you said, loose. Yeah, it but it's not, feel... though. There's no blade play, no lock No, I know. Lock. I'm so just saying it's... the way it feels when you drop it. It doesn't feel like, oh, wow. It feels like, I kind of feel like I should tighten this. Like, to, that's how it feels. To me, it feels like the lock bar tension is very loose. It feels like the mm -hmm. lock bar is just not strong on it. This one feels like the lock bar is stronger on it because neither one of them likes to have lock rock or blade play. This one's right here, though, on the blade the groove it's not smooth like on the it's zt this has an edge so with the tighter lock bar and the more come down here the more stronger detent it has a very good flicking action mm -hmm. you can very good you and can, i like the sound better now the thumb flick though doesn't work out with this one and the reason why is because you're like t grabbing the lock bar at the yeah. same time now Those i can pinch and roll or if let's see if i can yeah it's it's good with the middle finger flick, That's cool. but not with the thumb. I mean, I can do it, I guess. It's not easy, though. Like, I can do it, though. I say I go up here, kind of. So, yeah, it's well, not, it's not we'll the easiest. We'll call that a no. Yeah, we'll call that a no. Um, I'm sure you can do it. It's just not something, every time you pull out your pocket, you're not going to flip it that way. Okay. Now, the carbon fiber, I, I, you know, I can't say which one's done better, but they're both done very, very well. This one has a well. bit more sheen to it's it, bigger. whereas this one is a bit more of the Tighter. rough, like, dry feeling. Yeah, this one's, this one's a bit more, more smoother. This one's definitely more smoother. This one's so a this little one more So this one probably texture. has slightly better grip, I mean, on a minuscule level, but, um... If, but, you, if you look, though, the, the pattern and the carbon fiber, fiber is the same and everything. It's just a little bigger, Yeah, I, th I feel like. I feel like this is a little section. smaller. Yeah. So um, the jimping, though, it's d still done good. The ZT's jimping is all the way up and sharper. This is sharper. This one sits a little bit back farther. You see it? Is back farther. Oh, no. So it's more on like a push button type style, even though you light switch it, doesn't matter. It's <laughs> just that um <laughs> that it's sitting in a way that makes you feel like you're gonna have to do a push button, but you can you definitely kind of want to do a light switch. And same thing with the ZT, feels like if you do a little yeah. tiny bit of wrist like that, you get a lot of power outside of that knife. But it does sit forward, like I said, the same way. The um the sharpening choil on both of them are, uh, I feel like ZT missed it just a little bit more than Microtech. Microtech definitely uh, did a little bit better on the sharpening choil. The blade shape is essentially the same. There's so many similarities, but this one is beefier. And I feel like if I tightened 
the lock bar up on a ZT, I feel like I'd like it a little bit more. And they're, I feel like that this one, it would compare a lot more. But other than that... They're actually a lot more different than you would expect. Yeah, but then they're so similar, too. Like, yeah, they are they a look, lot They the look same. similar, but they feel quite different. All so. right, let's... Okay, in my opinion, though, I do like the Microtech better, I have to say. And if they did tighten up, if I did tighten up the lock bar a little bit on the ZT, it would give it a few extra points. But I like the, I like the clip better. I, um... I do think that this one's more comfortable in the hand, actually quite a bit more comfortable. Even with this clip, you would think that this clip would be more uncomfortable. This one is a lot more comfortable. The jimping's done better on the Microtech, but it's just, it's so wide here and so thin that it's just, it's just that much more uncomfortable. So that's my decision. Um, Are we I'm sure you feel out? the same way. Yep, now we're gonna just put it to the side. Now we're gonna do, Put these on top really quick of these so they can see them really quick. I know this is a long Just video. We didn't want to do this long of a video, but it's how it's going. So, all right, you see the comparison between those guys. These guys are essentially the same size. They're basically, I think, seven, seven and a half inches with a three and a quarter inch blade. You can see this one has the subframe lock like these knives. This one doesn't. This is a liner lock. This is aluminum, so this is all aluminum. I did put an edge on this, and the reason why, let me explain, because I did not put edges on these knives. These knives are very hard to get and are extremely expensive to get now if you want to get one. So I did not touch the edges, didn't edge carry them, blinging. never carried them, never nothing. This one carried one time. Carried one time, and I did put an edge on it, and I'll tell you the reason why, because it did have what seemed like a factory edge. Now, I went back and forth on whether or not I was gonna put an edge on it, but it didn't need an edge and I did wanna carry it. They still make these, that's why. I did one of my own edges and I'm very happy with it. And you know, I feel like you learn, you learn a lot more about a knife when you can sharpen it. I truly believe that and I truly believe that it's kinda of hard to, not hard to talk about a knife, but you get a lot more understanding about a knife and not just the quality, but how the overall, how it's overall going to, um, you know, like work out for you and like how good it's going to be, how easy it's going to be to sharpen, what they messed up on, you know, just like this, this knife. They missed the sharpening twill by a hair. If they would have just brought it up to right here, it would have been a little bit better, but it did take a, a great edge. I mean, a decent edge. Um, I, in my opinion, I would want to put one more, one or two more edges on it. I've only put one, carried it one time. So this aluminum on these things, you know, they, they chew up pretty quickly. And I think that's pretty well known about ZT and, um, and Kershaw, their aluminum scales, they do scratch up very easily. Now, nothing got scratched up on the scales. It's just that little tiny piece. So other than that, it's perfect. I did cut a couple things with it. I didn't want to cut too much because these finishes can start wearing and I didn't want to put a bunch of wear marks on there, especially after putting an edge on it too. So this does have a, um, a fixed um, pivot, but it is a T8 all the way around. Mm, which I, got it right. I do believe it's T8s all the way around. Yeah, T8s all the way around, which I'm really happy about. Now, this thing does have an assist to it, though. Bang. So this thing, as you can see, it stops right there. So right there, you're getting tension all the way down. Most can people you know open about that an assist. Knife without saying bang? So, <laughs> um... <laughs> you want to say it? I do. So <laughs> it, um... It does have the assist, which that to me is the downfall on this knife. I do like this knife, it's very comfortable in the hand. This is a perfect everyday carry size. I love the blade shape. Um, I'm not huge on coated blades, but I like the colors of this. I think this color combination is beautiful. I love the way this looks, the jimping is works perfect i mean it bites you really good in a good way you know, yeah it's you know i've never <clears throat> seen od green and black coating together. i like it it's this, so rare this clip is very unique too it has a weird uh, yeah. texture to it kind of like wrought shape. iron like if you know what wrought iron feels like that's like kind of what it feels like like a pan like no, that's cast iron yeah well you kind of like that now. yeah kind of like that so You're like, it's oh, comfortable it in the way. hand very yeah. comfortable in the hand and yeah i do like it a lot the only thing i don't like about it is the assist but hey this is such a good knife, I kind of look past this that. This is bad all the time. I just wouldn't want every knife that Now, way. the Natrix does not have an assist, which I do like, but 
even though it has this groove, it has the smooth groove, the, the smooth, smooth groove, groove, like uh, the ZT, but you cannot use it, which I think is a downfall on this thing. If they would have just made it sharp, like the Matrix, since they were copying it anyways with the name kind, except for one letter, why didn't they just make it sharp? That would have been a super badass. Well, because ass. their original design was smooth. The Anthony Marfione was the one who did the, the sharp cutouts. That was something he did better. And they were trying to stick to their OG design and say, like, no, nah, we did it better, and it should be with us. I think that's why. Um, This thing is G10 with a carbon fiber overlay. And this one, um, uh, Jamie Loves Knives gave to us, which was really Shout really out to awesome. Jamie Loves Knives, thank you very much. This thing does have, which is so cool, he's given us knives a couple times and we appreciate that every time. You, I mean, we, we don't have a lot of money and it literally saves our channel to get so much help from you guys. We love the community, we love you guys. Thank you so much for supporting and helping Speaking us. Speaking of uh, helping us, we are going to be giving back soon for our thousand subscribers, so keep looking out for that uh, yeah. giveaway video because we're planning something. It's not gonna be right away because we want to make it really good, so give us a little time here and we're gonna have something good coming soon. These knives are incredible. It is um, T8 with T6s. It does have a very deep carry clip which works out very well yep t6s um and they also come in and they have the copper natrix with d2 this is 8 cr 13 mov but this is a budget price i think these are around 35 bucks or some 40 bucks and they make a couple different configurations so these things are great edc knives the detent is so crisp the jimping's perfect it literally bites your finger Bang. I love the action on these things. It just, you can just hear the detent when it clicks in. It's so nice. I love it. What? The air. Oh, yeah, we should have shut that off. Yep. But, um, yeah, I really do like this knife. The copper one, I think, would be incredible, too. I have not held on to that. But the action on this thing, you can see the polish it takes. Just everything about it, and since it's smaller and not so wide, it's more comfortable in the hand for being so thin. Extremely lightweight, like this is a very lightweight knife. So, yeah, um, I think that's about it, guys. I mean, take from it uh, what you will. We tried to do a really great video for you guys about this whole shabang, but uh, yeah, here you guys go, bang, bang, bang. Bang. Can you see them all? Yep. All right, guys. We love you guys. Thank you.